Ah, there's no mic. Gosh, why didn't I unmute myself? Thank you, Cinescence. Well, Emerald General versus Disc. I think Sandy Brown on the north. Which is what I was trying to get at. What sort of colour would you call that? Going bots, uh, 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 bots or something like that. I forget. Down on the south in disc, rapes, lilac, signature lilac, bots, uh, bots, also. On singe. Got some not too distant expansions from the base there, worth locking down. A few defensive routes, a few more direct routes between the bases too. A few air bits and pieces floating around, a few boom bots coming out for disc as well, trying to get a faber snipe here, trying to get a faber pick, a few docks though, will they just about be able to defend against the fab? They will. It's worth a try, just the amount of time and cost it takes to build a boom bot, you may as well give it a go. Three expanding fabs together here for disc, that is not something you see every day. I try and keep my uh, voice more sedate this game. I just want to try and conserve my energy, if I will. Hello there, Map Man. Welcome. Have the air fair play for both of these players. Early in season two, the air is still very much the meta. Fireflies going off round to the west there trading positions, disc managing to get good vision coverage, sitting aloft the mountain there, those docks not quite in range to be able to shoot it. What a shame. <laughs> no, this isn't there. Not innocent, sorry, general, admiral general coming in. Trades the bomber sees the fab but doesn't quite manage to get it off. Disc won't be too thrilled with that, although he'll see the fab and will know. Yep, that's an expansion that I need to go and deal with. What happened to all of the discs, other docks? I wonder. He had a load before. Where'd they go? Did they try and push in or something? Yeah, they must have tried to push in there and got uh, taken out. Adding factories to these sort of narrow corridors is always a good idea as well. Locks down the mechs on the raised platforms, as well as uh, keeping uh, keeping your vehicles at closer distance, which is nice. And keeping increasing your production. Disc, though, floating with the resources, needs to do a little bit better at spending that. Maybe the T2 transition is coming up. Possibly an air fab we shall see, or maybe T2 bots. Most likely T2 bots in this game. <clears throat> Thank you, citizens. <laughs> Quality. T2 bots though now for Admiral General on the north coming up. Disc on the south still yet to get into T2, but it's planned. Sees a fab. The bomber doesn't quite manage to kill it. Both teams there. 
Both players not quite managing to snipe the fans with the bombing runs. Apologies, I keep sort of glancing at chat if my voice goes away from my microphone for a little bit and then comes back. That's what I'm doing. Pretty sedate moment on the battlefield there. A little bit of raiding being done from Admiral General. Always worth it. Seeing what you can do with a few docks. Keeping disc grape in the red. Trying to get into T2 while stalling your economy is not the best of positions to be in. Admiral, though, getting up to that T2 now, and an air fab as well, so it won't be too long before we see T2 air or air fab expansion all around the rest of the planet, but then again, Admiral doesn't quite have the assurance of no enemy air just yet. So the moment that he remembers or realises that he's got an air fab there, probably use it to either grab some of this mechs over here, or as I say, to get that T2 air factory. There we go. Where's it going? Getting the expansion? Oh, it's like I predicted it. A few docks making inroads there. A little bit of an army trade. Shard remains on the doorstep. And the naval transition as well from disc. Getting into the water. Got a piranha out. Couple of fabs too, seeking the Galata to try and lock down the expansion before possibly moving to T2 air later on. Uh, T2 naval, sorry. Later on. Slammer's coming out now and a locust from Admiral General. Where's that locust going around the rest of the map? Seeing where the scouting has been done, no doubt. Oh, oh dear. Looks like your naval expansion has been found. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Nom nom nom. Is it going to go for the factory? There we go. It sees the factory, but it doesn't want to engage the piranha head on, I don't think. Whoop, 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 whoop. Dodge it. Ooh. Or you could just charge head first at it. I mean, you're a locust. You'll eat that piranha in a... Half a mouthful. I do want to keep tabs on it, though. Oh, never mind. It's gone. Because it went at the speed of a docks, rather than at its own speed. Silly, silly. Bad micro there. Fab a pick. I don't know why, why that fab was there. The air must have scouted that beforehand. A few slammers moving around, but the armies are not consolidated into a single force yet, still all in different locations, so they won't necessarily get too far into the base if they try and, certainly if they try and press against this expansion here, then again, Disc doesn't have all that much of an army ready and mustered to defend against such a push. We have got the, uh, the aquatic path here. Surprised these players didn't uh, that uh, Admiral didn't decide to use those docks and slammers to wander through there though. Then again, this way they actually get to shoot at stuff while moving because of course docks cannot shoot while submerged. Here we can see T2 air going up in Admiral General's base now in the picture in picture on the top right. And the sniper bots coming out for disc rape as well. Lots of sniper bots. I like this. I like seeing sniper bots. I haven't seen them properly used frequently for a long time. T2 naval plan for disc now in the pond. Let's 
Still the slammer getting into range. The sniper bots, though, will take it down as they uh, exhaust the dock's targets. Dock's running over a poorly textured CSG. This this texture here has always bugged me. I don't know why. This bit has always been jarring to me. It doesn't it doesn't look right with the rest of it. I really don't like it. Likewise on these bits here, like just these random bits. I, I ugh, ugh, don't like that texture. Admiral Jonah, though, has managed to expand quite far and wide on the map now, as we can see from the economy there, and the T2 going up in the base. Disc has more T2 in the base, which is why the economies are more more equal at the moment. Although, having to be on the defensive here, but we have got sniper bots coming out for disc on the front lines, which is good. It's going to be a push from him, but he doesn't quite manage to kite that army away. The sniper bot just managing to stay alive, not very long though. And uh, Locus coming out too, again. T2 air is finished, the Phoenix are there. Kestrel's probably a not too distant future. Bombers against snipers. Whoa. And another pass seals the deal there. But the expansion's gone regardless. But traded on the other side. Air engagement there. Disc going to come off worse for wares with that one as he gets gobbled up by Admiral moving in. Disc starting to run out of units here. Doesn't have all that much on the air, and most of the army is kind of scattered around. There's a lot in the water that could be done. The T2 naval factory is up, but there are slammers in the water, and they can, of course, shoot torpedoes. And there ain't nothing else in the water that can deal with that slammer threat. So that T2 naval factory could be very short-lived here. And on the front lines too, bombers coming in with Kestrels and Slammers, taking out more T2 mechs there, keeping Disc Rape at a lower peg than Admiral, who's about 100 mechs above at this point. T2 power gone down too now. Let's go and have a brief gander over in the water there. Looks like those Slammers were taken care of by some... Uh, Some air by the looks of things. Or was it a turret that got up in, in time from a T2 fab perhaps? Don't know what killed that. And the defence was successful for disc as well. Admiral's air left the uh, the forces to their demise on the front lines. Thought it better to retreat and come back another day. Consolidate the air. There's a lot of it now disc. Not quite managing to re-expand. Has got an air fabber trying. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, it's not particularly fast. Not expedient at doing so. Admiral in the base there. Still only at one T2 factory apiece for bots and air respectively. Scrape though going for his third T2 factory again while in the red. Needs to get those expansions back and is trying to do so. We can see the fabs attempting to re expand, but uh, the army count now is really starting to punish Disc, who has not been able to get back into the air game for as long as this uh, game has been going. Raiding Doc's blob there, the bumblebee. Effective as ever. 
that non area patrol docks. Down they go. Down goes the bumblebee, I'm sure. Well, oh, super low. One hit away. And decides not to run over it. But instead decides, ah, I want to get shot by a hummingbird. Here comes the air, though. No second T2 air factory for you, Admiral General, moving in. With the bombing run there, really punishing Disgrape's army count now, down to 70. There is not much left in Disc's defence here, and honestly, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, yeah, that's GG, mate. We've got some kaijus, but uh, they're not really going to get very far against... Uh, successful air game like this. Look at this Admiral going full air here. What is this? 18 air factories. Plus a T2. <laughs> Not as many bumblebees as I would expect. Here we go. Coming into the main base now. Disgraped commander just watching as his spawning mechs goes down. Bumblebees and the Kestrels. Laughing from on high. Oh, the Bumblebees are all gone. Picked off, methinks. Flying over all the frontline Galata. <laughs> Not many Bumblebee reinforcements are actually making it to the air blob here. It's quite amusing. Down goes the Air T2. There's only one T2 factory left for disc now. And it's the bots, but more factories are going down. The eco is in the toilet for him. Down below 200 now, whereas General is above 3. And well, we've got one more replay after this. I've been sent one from... Well, another one from Admiral General against Zankar. Or, Viru said he's just had a good game on Lost Temple. I don't know what the game against Zankar, what map it's on, but uh, kind of fancy seeing a Lost Temple game. Docks and Slammers against a commander. Good night, Deskrape. This game is over. You're done, son. GG.